first night spent here at home was spent on the grounds of West Point, the United States Military Academy, the scene of so many historic events that 20 years ago it was declared a national monument. Well, in West Point's 180-year history, graduates have included such notables as former President Dwight David Eisenhower, General George Patton, and General Douglas MacArthur. Well, tonight we're going to meet a young man from our area who's attempting to join the ranks of such notable graduates. It's a struggle to be sure, and tonight we're going to find out just what it takes. Set! Question three, two, four, nine, ready? It takes someone who's willing to look ahead and not carry a grudge after yesterday, but look ahead to what they can get out of tomorrow. Dean Chamberlain. 20 years of age. Born Orchard Park, New York, presently entering his second year at West Point. Tell me who Dean Chamberlain really is. Dean Chamberlain is a yearling trying to make his way through West Point and graduate and become an officer in the United States Army. Now, why would an Orchard Park high school football star, who had a choice of attending any major college in our country, choose the most disciplined four-year institution of them all, the United States Military Academy? There's a couple, a couple factors in there that made me decide to come to West Point. I think one of them was probably my high school football coach, Tony Pollocker. He, um, he instilled discipline into me, and I took it off the football field and carried it into the weight room and into the academics. And another reason was um, I've always had a sense of duty to my country. Duty, honor, and country. Those words have been a part of West Point for nearly two centuries, and so is a struggle to make it through. Now that struggle all begins with your freshman year, or plebe year. Plebe year is really challenging in the fact that you are subordinate, and you have to learn the subordinate's rule, because in four years you're going to be an officer, and you have to know what the, the private that's down there in the trenches with you, how he feels, and that's why they, they do the senior subordinate system. It's, it's a very good system. It's tested tough, you might say. And it's been tested for 180 years by some of the toughest military men in the world. We shall con conquer not only Germany, but also Japan, until the last danger to life Graduates have included General George Patton and General Douglas MacArthur. All received their first taste of combat training during the summer of their sophomore year, when cadets are stationed at Camp Buckner on the grounds of West Point. It's considered the best summer of their lives. Ask Captain Keith Botkin, Dean's commanding officer. Uh, they'll call it the best summer of their life. Yes, they will. Sometimes they'll do that with a smile. Sometimes they really mean it. Uh, the summer's exciting for them. A lot of hard work. A few chances to play pretty hard and uh, get to know their classmates really well. Hard work? Before these young men and women even get breakfast, they're put through PT, physical training. Now, that includes a two-mile run, push-ups, sit-ups, and it isn't even 7 o'clock yet. And believe it or not, Dean is enjoying all of this. Before the clock struck 10 a.m., Dean's platoon would build a pontoon or raft. and do it in record-breaking time. And his platoon would build a bridge and break yet another record. Now, why all the record-breaking times? Today, when we were doing that bridge, and we beat the record. The reason we did it is because we worked as a team and teamwork. And that's the way the Army is. That's right, teamwork. Both men and women pull their equal share of the workload. And Dean is one of the first to admit it. While we've been out here, uh, so far the women that I've come in contact with in my platoon are excellent. You know, they, they will do their share and more. Dean's dedication isn't simply confined to the classroom or field training, but to the gridiron as well. He'll be in the lineup when our tribal's Army and Navy meet this year. After all, he was recruited for football. Now, Dean's freshman tack or advisor, Major Boya, knows how important football is to him. And uh, I think he, I think again, that's something that he really gets a kick out of and really likes. He likes the, 
the physical contact. He likes the competition. And I think you can see that displayed in the other aspects of his cadet life. By now, you may be wondering, can Dean spell the words social life? There's this uh, <laughs> really nice colonel's daughter that's a real sweet little girl I take on sometimes. Gee, I'm glad you find time for that, Dean. <laughs> but sometimes isn't oftentimes, not when you're trying to graduate from West Point. Always there echo and re-echo duty, honor, country. Those words spoken by General MacArthur before West Point's class of 62, they still hold meaning 20 years later. As for Dean Chamberlain, will he join the ranks of USMA graduates? I think he'll have no trouble. I really think he'll, uh, he'll do well his last three years here at West Point, and he'll probably make a pretty fine officer. To me, a duty is something that it has to be done, should be done, with a feeling of pride towards your country and honor is something that comes natural to me, probably because of my upbringing from my parents. And country, I believe this country is, you know, it's the only country that I would like to live in. I've traveled to other countries, and I love the democratic system. And I, that's, there's no other place like it. Dean Chamberlain is already a pretty fine cadet. I don't think anybody doubts that Dean Chamberlain will graduate from the United States Military Academy. The qualities of perseverance and dedication, all the qualities that make Dean so special, I think he'll take with him in whatever career he chooses. But my guess is it'll be serving his country. And by the way, I did check with Dean, and he tells me, yes, Army will beat Navy in December. Now stay with us. We'll have more PM.